It is 5 a.m. and today is a travel day. Buenos dias amigos from Facebook. Buenos dias amigos from Oaxaca Airport. Oaxaca International Airport. I'm not sure if that's what it's called. Uh, today is a long, long travel, travel day. day. It's gonna be lots of fun. <laughs> if you've been following us for a while, you know that every few months we go back to the states to see our family. It's not permanent. We're not Don't leaving worry. Mexico. We're coming back. This isn't a sad but believing Nana's Mexican. turning 90. But her grandma's turning 90. We need to see our family. Uh, hashtag relationship tips. Uh -oh. Whenever you go to get coffee, whenever your your girlfriend, your wife, your girl, your boyfriend, your whatever, sends you on a on an errand, if they have, even if she's he or she says they don't want anything, if you see pan dulce, get him a piece. Get him a piece of pan dulce. It, <laughs> razones de seguridad, su equipaje de mano deberá quedar colocado en los compartimentos superiores o bien debajo del asiento frente a ustedes. Por City Airport. We have traversed this entire place. <laughs> What's one thing you're gonna miss from Mexico? Bread. This is our second basket of bread. Fresh baked bread sounds like such a like random thing, I guess. Like before mommy moving to Mexico, I never thought of bread as being Mexican. Yeah. But I'm gonna miss the bread. Me too. We have to get on a plane in like two minutes. <laughs> We have made it to Houston, Texas, one of the it's like America. <laughs> one of the largest cities in all of the United States. We're flying in. Does anybody live It's here? like pasture after pasture it's... after lake after farmland. It seems like this place is deserted. All right, we gotta check in. But I want to talk about things we miss from the United States while we're okay. Texas, we have made it. We also have a problem. 180 pesos, what does that get you in the Houston, Texas airport? It gets you two Coke Zeros and one bottle water of water. To share. <coughs> uh, yeah, it's wow. I think Hillary and I, we were just. Yeah, we were just saying we always have mixed emotions coming back because coming back means seeing family and yeah, this is where we grew up. Coming back brings back. It's just different. Other things that are just different, yeah. It's just different. I mean, in, in the fact of the matter is like Mexico is our home and like we're just used to those things. I'm sure if you're from Mexico and you've traveled to the United States, you probably feel similar, similarly or 
And maybe yeah. if you're from the U.S. and you travel to Mexico, there's just small things that you can't really describe that just make you kind of miss your normal routine or yeah. miss the normalcy. Some of it's like interactions with people or just prices. Buying a bottle of water. Uh, anyways, but what do we miss from the United States whenever we're in Mexico, which is, I don't know, 50, 50 weeks out of the year? Mm -hmm. well, what do you miss? I have told you guys this over and over that mm -hmm. the biggest struggle for me is family. I am yep. extremely close to my family and Greg's family. Yep. Um, it's I uh, FaceTime or call my mom about three times a day, talk to both my sisters, nieces and nephews yeah. and when she, every day. And when we FaceTime my mom, we call so I can talk to my mom and... And I talk to his mom. <laughs> my mom and her end up talking together more. Same with your dad. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I text your dad more than you text your dad. <laughs> And we've said this before, it's no surprise that the, what we miss the most is our family, but I think, I don't know if we'd ar had articulated this point or not, every time we travel back and forth between Mexico and the United States, we end up with less and less stuff, mm -hmm. and we realize, like, people ask us all the time, what do we miss the most, and it's, we've definitely come to realize it's not anything, there's nothing, no yeah, thing Yeah, there's nothing in miss. my day-to-day -day routine from Dallas that I miss. Mm -hmm. There's really not. It's I all... miss friends. I miss seeing work friends. I miss seeing friends outside mm -hmm. of work. Well, and I think I thought of this yesterday when kind of thinking about this idea or thinking about what we do miss. The only things we miss are things you can't you can't buy, you can't replace, you can't get at right. a store. Friendships, uh, relationships. Same thing with Mexico. The things we miss in Mexico you can't you can't buy here. It's uh, uh, and right. I think it's interesting because I think, especially in the United States and even some places in Mexico, it's such a by consumer culture to feel fill a void or to uh -huh. make you feel a certain way or to make you happy. But if you really think about it, and I think maybe the way we've designed our lives or the way our life has played out, we've just certainly come to realize nothing that makes that, us that excited, makes us happy. Right? Yeah, nothing important in our life is anything we've, we've bought. Not this camera, not the right. computer we edit the videos on. The views on our videos aren't important. The likes on our Instagram, it's not all, none of that is important. It's, right. I think, I don't know. It's things so, that you can't buy. Right? Yeah, so I think we say that and, and hoping to encourage you to, uh, I don't know, maybe just reevaluate re what is important to your life, what you can cut out, what you need to bring more of. Yeah. And I don't know, if you've traveled internationally or you live in the United States but you're from Mexico or vice versa, comment below on this video and let us know what do you miss the most? What's like the, the simple, silly thing that may yeah. seem weird? Maybe it's your mom's handmade tortillas. Maybe it's uh, like for my, me, my grandma's food. And gravy. <laughs> yeah, your mom's yeah. biscuits and gravy. Stuff that you just you can't buy. This has been a super long travel day. Oaxaca to Mexico City. 445. Mexico City to Houston. Now we have one more flight. Houston to Dallas. And then we have to get in a car, drive 45 minutes. Then Hillary uh, has to drive two hours south. Two hours south. And Unfortunately, we are splitting ways today. Uh -huh. Forever? <laughs> no, no, not for long. Connecticut is still still running strong, uh, and then I'm I'm going north 45 minutes, so it's a it's long. Give me about 14 to 16 hours. Wow, oh, or rope. <laughs>We have made it back to Dallas, and he goes, the biggest question when we get back to Dallas is, Whataburger or Chick-fil-A? Chick Chick I don't know. Whatever line do you order? I think so. For people that have never been to Texas, like, I don't know, Louisiana, Oklahoma, what's the deal with Whataburger? I don't really know, if I'm being honest. I think it's sort of how Californians feel about In-N-Out. Or Mexicans like, feel about what? What would also, be like... <laughs> biscuits over gone. Maybe, well, it's like a fast Sanborns. food. Sanborns, maybe. It's like a nostalgia thing more than anything. It's fast food that I think some people think is better than other fast food. It options. is better, but it's... It's one of the only two places in the airport here in our price range, so... <laughs> Sorry. How's the french fry? Good. Isn't that how we started this video? French fries? Right. <laughs> that was like 14 hours ago. Oh. Travel day is not quite over, but I uh, I can't film anymore. <laughs> We've been filming all day. Well, just bits and pieces all day. Uh, travel days are always interesting. We're both super excited to see our family 
families. But we're really gonna miss that Pond Dulce for the next few days. Well, we are gonna miss Pond Dulce for the next few days. Uh, uh, we'll see what we have in store for you. We'll figure yeah, we can find some. Or make some. Not at H-E-B, we've tried that before. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and the bell, that way you get notified. Every single time. We'll upload a new video, and we will see you tomorrow from Dallas. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know where you see from, but somewhere. In the world.